So the current status of HBase, we're in um, somewhere between Release Candidate 1 and Release Candidate 2. There are three open issues. Probably uh, RC2 will be ready in about a week. Uh, HBase is in production use that several companies, uh, power set streaming, stumble upon, and uh, also in evaluation and development for production use at Trend Micro. We have lots of new users appearing now in the HBase users channel, uh, sorry, mailing list, and on our in our IRC channel, um, and they're having standard new user issues. So uh, we still really need a good beginner how-to, uh, but this is improving all the time. Uh, a little bit more about HBase at Trend Micro. So Trend Micro has this thing, the Smart Protection Network, right? And you know, I, I won't describe what it is, but just suffice it to say that, that we have to look at a lot of threat data, and we have to make a lot of correlations and update our understanding of the threat landscape of the internet in real time. And this is a data intensive activity. There's lots of data, massive amounts of it. So Trend Micro's intent to use HBase as a storage platform for very large data sets and for archival storage, uh, and use this platform to do correlation over massive data sets. And as uh, we've already used uh, HBase with some success for threat research. Uh, a Trend Micro employee is an HBase committer, that's myself. And uh, I'm happy to say that Trend Micro is open source friendly. But HBase needs your help. Um, if, you are, if you have a need for a very large scale data storage, if you have, um, and you want to do it on commodity hardware in a, in a way that is uh, you know, fault tolerant, and highly available, then HBase might, might be for you. It's, it's open source, it's in development, it's not perfect. Uh, so I would recommend you to try it out and discuss on our, our mailing list or by IRC your results, right? Uh, we, at this point in our project's lifetime, we especially appreciate bug reports. And then, of course, help with bug fixing. Our, our developer community is about 10 core developers. We have uh, another 10 or 20 uh, strong contributors and then a, lar a larger user community. Uh, so certainly we can use help with both fixing, help with performance improvements, and help with the development or new and improved features, especially if you find each base meets approximately 90 or 95 percent of your requirements, and there's only that last 5 or 10 percent of functionality that you require to support your use case. We would encourage you, rather than uh, develop something yourself, to look whether you can use HBase and just add this function. And uh, we would we would respectfully ask that you consider con contributing back any enhance, such enhancements to the community. We certainly welcome that. So uh, a little bit more about our, um, or, or a little bit about our roadmap. Uh, I talked about how we removed, we distributed some of the master responsibilities from a single point of failure to a, a zookeeper quorum. We would like to further distribute the master responsibilities uh, and make the master as small as possible. And, and you know, in, in, in my vision, I would like to see actually it be completely, uh, a complete, a complete. The re there should be no master. There should be only region servers. They should cooperate to uh, uh, to coordinate um, region assignment and failure recovery and such through uh, distributed and emergent behaviors. So we certainly won't get there for the next release, but maybe it, maybe some more after. Uh, like I said, HBase is implemented in Java, uh, and our client side is also Java, so it requires uh, some level of Java integration, although we do have a Thrift Gateway and a uh, RESTful Web API. These don't achieve the same performance, of course, as the native API. But we aim to change that by producing a language agnostic binary RPC and a native C, C++ client library with performance that meets or exceeds the current Java option. Uh, Something that I plan on working on is replication for multiple data centers. HBase, like the Hadoop uh, file system, if you're familiar with it, is a um, something that can scale up very large, but it scales at, in cluster, right? It scales in LAN, not in WAN. Um, so you can't have an HBase or an HDFS um, federation which spans data centers, right? The, the latencies and, the, and chance of network partition across the WAN links uh, so negatively impact the, the performance of the, these systems uh, that it's not feasible to try that kind of deployment. So what do you, you want to do if you want for disaster recovery or 
business continuity purposes have multiple geographical locations where your where you, where you visit, your workflow operates. Right. Well, so you need replication in this case. So so we aim to do that. So it, so scale cells in addition to um, have, have being uh, associated with a row, a column, qual optional qualifier, and a timestamp will also have a scope. Thank you. Five minutes. Further optimizations on algorithms and data structures. A um, tool for repairing corruptions on disk. A option for uh, returning. So if you have a column which has millions of data items in it, you do an RPC to retrieve that. It's large. Your client needs to have a large memory buffer to support that. Uh, if it doesn't, it will blow up. So what we like to do is let's avoid that necessity by allowing inter-row scanning where you, where you say if you have a row uh, with a column which has millions of values, maybe you only want to retrieve a thousand at a time. Right? This is something we'll do. And currently, um, through much of the Hadoop stack, when the HBase included, there's a, a, a lack of access control and strong security. So this is something for beyond 21 uh, discretionary access control.